we are at Cascadia College in Bothell. My name is Fideli Navarro Lopez, and I am a customer service specialist three in the student success services area. So we do everything from admissions, registration, um, evaluations, financial aid, advising. Hello, my name is Leon S. Tucker. I'm working here at Olympic College. I am in mail and receiving. I've been here for 11 years. I didn't plan on being here that long, but you know how things sometimes work out. And now that I'm here, and uh, because it's a state job, I think I got three more to go. So I'll still be here for a little bit longer. My name is Sherry Willis, and I work at Olympic College Career Center here in Bremerton and I am the program coordinator. I've only been here actually six months. We assist students uh, with placing them with employment on campus and off campus. We help them with their career assessments, resume preparation, cover letter, mock interviews. We also have assessment testing that they can do, you know, to find out things like what interests they like, what they want to major in, which career direction they want to go in, and things like that. We have a bunch of resources and tools to assist them. Not as an instructor, oh. but life planning. My name is Diana Sullivan, and I'm the communications coordinator, and I've been with Olympic College for four years. My name is Abdullah Gary Harris. Um, I've been working for Highline a little over four years, four years, six months, I believe. I'm a custodian three, which is a lead. I'm one of three leads that is here, sort of kind of in the middle of senior and junior. And my job includes cleaning buildings uh, throughout the campus, but also inspections and assisting other custodians and training and so forth and helping with our custodial service manager. I'm kind of a people person, so for me, every day is kind of a good day. You know, I get to meet a lot of people. I know almost everybody on campus, teachers and students. And so I've had positive experiences and mentoring some of the students that have been here, you know, just kind of helping, through, helping them through some of the difficult parts in their life and the, the things that they're going through while going to college. The one that sticks in my mind the most, I have to say, is a student, young lady came in and I had the opportunity to go over with her all our resources and how we can assist students and what we do here for our students, you know, how we're an integral part in their career advancement and success. And I just took time just explaining that and talking to her all about it. She had no idea everything that we did and what we offer. She was overjoyed with that. She said, I came in here not knowing what it was that I wanted or what you were all about and I'm leaving with so much information um, and now I know where I need to go, where I need to come, what I need to do. And she just thanked me for you know taking the time and sharing out with her and um, that just made my day. Seeing students progress in their education, um, being able to go over there and tell them I'm proud and giving them a big hug of encouragement so that they would continue on with their education. One particular uh, time I was out with our photographer and she was taking pictures of the campus and when my boss was reviewing the photos he made the statement that a fourth of the pictures were of me hugging people. An experience I had was with a DACA student who unfortunately could not get her financial situation for fall quarter situated um, and so I was able to connect her to the foundation where she was able to apply for a scholarship and she was able to attend fall quarter. She was very thankful and just came back and she appreciated she could come to me with such a sensitive matter. Being undocumented is not an easy thing for someone to say to someone else. Positive things is that when I come to work I feel as if I'm part of a family. Um, everyone is nice. They, you know, they make me feel like I'm at home. It doesn't feel like they're at work. As far as outside the campus, um, I feel that's also they're a big family too. Um, there are many instructors here on in campus, the, from the president on down to faculty and other staff members that are like family to me, um, that treat me as such. And um, I feel pretty much at home with everyone. Uh, that's one of the positives. Uh, the positives is that I feel like we're making a difference to help our uh, students when they come to this campus to feel that, you know, that they feel at home as well. Um, we try our best to clean and everything um, and try to help out and be uh, nice and good thing, very good help.
with everything there's some challenges good bad and difference you're given lemons you make lemonade out of them um, I just say that one of the challenges may be just trying to adapt and learn and understand because it's such a um, multiple culture of um, diversity here and trying to understand the the, the different generation gaps the um, the multicultural um, uh, diversity that we have among the students here and just trying to understand them the language bar barriers and stuff and you know so I can be able to meet them at their particular needs and, and know how to best assist them. One of the most challenging things would be I am the only Spanish speaking staff member in my area um, so sometimes I can get a little overwhelming when I'm the one being seeked constantly um, or if I just can't stretch myself enough to help all those students who might need me. So that, that can become a little challenging sometimes. Some of the challenges that I've experienced has been seeing students who are not getting what they need. Some of them are just needing to sometimes to talk to somebody. Being students of color, sometimes they don't see other reflections of themselves here at the school and I go out and make sure that I give them some encouragement, give them a hug. Sometimes they just need a hug from somebody who's familiar with them. With with the cleaning, um, with, you know, there, there has been some in the earlier time with um, racial incidents uh, as me, as me being a African American um, Muslim and a, a United States Navy veteran. I, I faced challenges with with her, with that former coworker. Um, the challenges is making sure that, as also as a lead, balancing being lead um, and making sure that I don't disrespect or get disrespected. Um, I am also here at campus. I'm also a shop steward, a union shop steward, and it's the challenges of being a lead and challenging both. Um, being a lead and a, a shop steward. Also, with our custodians being very diverse, um, facilities being very diverse, from uh, the director all the way down. Many of our custodians are from other countries and they've had education, backgrounds and stuff like that. When they come here, it's look like that, you know, they don't know anything or something like that. And the challenges is, is to, to show that our custodians are more than just cleaning and that they're beneath everybody, that we, we are a terrible part of this campus to make sure that it runs smoothly. Um, that we're not just, hey, when there's a complaint, then we need to be noticed. When there's, uh, hey, could you, could you pick this up for us? I need to, I, I, that's the difficult part to show that our stat, our custodians are, are just as important as anybody else. There's always some salt mixed in with the sugar or something like that, but uh, there, there are challenges, but nothing that is larger than I can overcome. So um, really, you know, I'm not really challenged by anything. The fact that I just come here, I do my job to the best of my ability, which is all they ask of me, and um, I make sure I take none of my problems home with me. Absolutely. Um, you can always develop yourself professionally, always do better. Yes, I would love to attend more professional development. Uh, I have been at this college for nine years. Uh, I started as a work-study student, worked my way up to part-time, and then I decided I wanted to work full-time, and so here I am today. Um, I would love to polish my leadership skills, since, like I said, I do feel like I'm an important part of this campus. Uh, if they were to send me somewhere, I would love that. I would love to attend. I would attend union meeting. I've even spoken at a few of them. Um, yeah, I would. It's that, that NBC commercial, The More You Know. <laughs> and that I think that I would benefit a lot from those conferences and stuff to help me grow as a, as a um, individual and my future development and other places are here. I've been offered to, um, to go quite a few times. The only problem that I have is that if I'm not here, my work is here for me when I get back. So if I'm going for two or three days, then um, everybody's wondering where the mail is. No checks go out and nothing comes in. 
So, um, so you know, it makes it kind of difficult. That I think, actually, that would be one of the biggest challenges that I have. But I definitely would go to a conference if it was offered to me and I was allowed to go. Most definitely would. I'm open to anything that can help me grow and help develop me so I can be better, uh, better assistance to our, our students as best as I can. I believe that I am a vital part of the campus simply because that people need interaction with other people. People need to feel like that they are being seen. And sometimes you have students that come in there, come here and they might not feel like they're being seen. But if you have people like me who go over there and, you know, talk to them, interact with them, and it could be just as nothing more than just saying, hey, how are you? Um, because I see them all the time. It means the world to them. I do feel like I'm an important person at the college, especially when students and also their families tell me so, um, especially because we have a lot of first generation students who come here and again, they're Spanish speaking and I sense that their parents are like, yes, I am so happy to let them go there. They have someone they can trust and um, them themselves, the parents, have someone they can trust as well. Not to sound uh, uh, arrogant, but I feel like I'm very important that things need to be cleaned. If I'm not there, things won't be clean. I mean, I don't even really go on vacations and stuff. I, I have to be, yeah. I, mean, I do, but I feel that I am a very integral part. I mean, just imagine that this campus didn't have any custodians. Then make sure that I'm also a shop steward. I, I do feel, yeah, I am a very integral part of, of Highline College. I think so. Like I say, if I'm, if I'm not here, you know, there's nobody to do my job and to, to um, assume my position. So um, I think that people look forward to seeing me every day um, and that um, the position I'm in not only as the mail carrier, but also as the receiving person, um, is pretty important to the college. I most definitely do. I, I feel that what I do, as all of us as a team does, play a very uh, integral and important part of our, in our students' lives and their educational goals and their success. Because when they're successful, I'm successful. In your four years, have you had a positive experience in your position? No, no, I'm just fine. Uh, cut that. <laughs> I was going in there. <laughs> do you have a saying or something that y'all do here at Hello? Uh, I don't say. <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all? I don't know again. You're a, a, a Quaker? What is you? <laughs> a Quaker? <laughs> What's that? You capped there? Oh, yeah. This is the Olympic College Fighting Ranger. <laughs> Yes, it is. There you go. All right. oh, hold on, let me show you. He, he said I could sport. He know I'm from Highline, though. No. Hold on. He gave me the Olympic College cap. 